At Ellis Brigham, we take ski testing really seriously, and this involves two different ski tests. The first one is done early in the season. Everything's put through its paces and compared, we make the decisions what we're going to stock. Later on in the season, we bring staff out to Austria. Here, the staff test all the skis that we've decided to go in the range. This means we can make sure we've made all the correct decisions, but it also means that when you come into any of our stores, the staff there can give you personal advice. They know exactly how the ski skis because they've been on them. Uh, Tech-wise, again, the clue's in the name here, so it's the 92, so it's 92 underfoot. That's a great kind of versatile uh, shape underfoot, but it's, it's, you can see from the shovel that it's also going to work in the powder for you, so a nice sort of free ride profile, really. Okay, so with a 92, you could look at a, a kind of a sporty intermediate, somebody that's really progressed quickly and wants to challenge themselves, but ideally you're looking, again, at advanced to expert level, um, would be more at home on this ski. So there's your, there's your level, really. You can see me here, I'm loving the look of this ski. It's like, it is probably the best ski that, no, let's not, let's, let's not use probably. It is the best Salomon women's ski graphic I've had ever. I'm not doing it justice here because it comes with a matching binding, which is on fire. So buyers have been looking at this going, this is, this is, it looks spectacular. Now that has to be backed up with performance, which it has as well. Um, for me, the main features are the new lightweight wood core. Same sort of deal in the tip here, the CFX Superfiber in the tip. Incredibly good at absorbing those shocks and vibrations. So again, big smiles on my face when I'm, when I'm trying them. And again, with the cork inserts at the side here, we've covered cork, but really good at absorbing shocks and vibrations. So it's completely there, the, the, the real deal is that. So I'll draw on my experience in Squaw Valley um, on our recent trip out there. And we were lucky enough to get some overnight snow, skied early in the morning, and people were heading out to that powder. They love the, the, uh, the flotation of the ski. They love the, the lightweight feeling of the ski. Over last year's model, however, a little bit more bite and performance, a little bit more snap from the wood core, and absolutely better at absorbing shocks and vibrations in the tip. Because we've got a little bit of rocker going on, or I say a little bit, quite a lot going on here. So we need to control that rocker, and that's when the cork comes into play. So. Hi, I'm Flory, I'm from Covent Garden. I've just been out today in this weather on the QST. My experience of this ski today, I was a bit on the piece and it was a bit choppy and jowdy. It was really nice to ski on, really stable. You could really charge and push down the mountain. But then I took it off the piece and really enjoyed it still. It was really nice and fluid. It wasn't hard work. It was really enjoyable. Uh, I would put this ski at, ski at someone who wanted to have an all mountain ski, which they could charge off piece really well. I'd say intermediate to advanced, someone who could really put a bit of power behind it, they'd really enjoy it.